Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton each say the loss of an Egyptian airliner highlights why the other is unfit to be president. Those comments as the presidential campaign turns increasingly personal. John Fanolio in the newsroom with more on the race for the White House. John. Micah, that lost Egyptian airliner is raising questions tonight about terrorism and which candidate is best suited to deal with the global threat. So today we had a terrible tragedy. Tonight, the politics of terror is in sharp focus on the campaign trail. A plane got blown out of the sky. And if, anything, if anybody thinks it wasn't blown out of the sky, you're 100% wrong, folks, OK? It does appear that it was an act of terrorism. That presumption now the subject of political attacks from the right. She said that Donald Trump talked about radical Islamic terrorism, which she doesn't want to use. She used a different term because she doesn't want to use that term. And the left. Do you think that Donald Trump is qualified to be president? No, I do not. In an interview today with CNN's Chris Cuomo, Clinton saying for the first time that Donald Trump is not fit to be commander in chief. His statements are not just offensive to people, they are potentially dangerous. She's eager to take on Trump in a general election fight. I will be the nominee for my party, Chris. That, that, is, that is already done, in effect. There is no way that uh, I won't be. But first, she has to put Bernie Sanders behind her. The Vermont senator is trailing in delegates, but he's vowing to stay in the fight, forcing Clinton to walk a fine line. As she's criticizing Bernie's position, she actually is turning away more voters than she's attracting. So she has to attract attract his voters and get them to come behind her as she takes on, you know, the, the general election. But she also has to stay relatively moderate to capture the, the rest of the, the median voters. But Trump isn't holding back, taking jabs at Clinton and her husband today on Fox News, resurrecting decades-old controversy about Bill Clinton's infidelity, suggesting that he raped a woman back in the late 70s. I looked at the New York Times. Are they going to interview Juanita Broderick? Are they going to interview Paula Jones? Are they going to interview Kathleen Willey? In one case, it's about exposure. In another case, it's about groping and fondling and touching against a woman's will. And rape. And rape. And President Clinton denied the sexual assault allegation. His accuser filed an affidavit saying that no such crime had occurred, which she later recanted. Mr. Clinton was never charged with a crime. I'm John Finolio in the newsroom. I'll send it back to you in the studio.